How to calculate the area of a circle. So, let's say you're given the assignment to calculate the area of a circle. Or say your younger sibling is given this assignment, and you're, of course, the fount of wisdom, the first and last resort, the genius to whom all others defer. Or sometimes you really just need to impress for whatever reason, not that you're not impressive enough in your own right. How to calculate the area of a circle, you ask? Before raising your fists at the powers that be who dare disturb your peace, take you away from your social network fans, and saddle you with a seemingly vexing dragon to slay. Chill, it's no big deal. Calculating the area of a circle isn't all that difficult, and you'll see that impressing your pesky sibling and gaining brownie points from your mom will only add to your legion of fans. So get ready and start cracking. 1. Remember the formula for calculating the area of a circle. It's quite easy to memorize and so unexpected, it's a hoot. A equals pi r squared. Everybody knows pi is round, not square, right? Duh. So that's how you remember the formula in the first place. A pi is round like a circle. But the formula itself is pi r squared. 2. Here's how to work the formula. A stands for area, or the quantity you're looking for when calculating the area of a circle. Pi is always, always 3.1415926542, or 3.14 for short. Wait, is that like a nickname? You have to memorize this one as well. The circle's radius is represented by R. Radius is the distance from the center of the circle to its outer edge. Squared means that you multiply the radius by itself. 3. So here it comes. Say you're given a radius of 3. Multiplying 3 by 3 gives you 9. No sweat, huh? Hey, if that alone made you sweat, you've got a serious problem, dude. Just joking. Next, multiply 9 by the value of pi, a known quantity, always 3.14, remember? Or you could do the equation this way. Area equals 3.14 times 3 times 3. Ta-da! The area is 28.26. Easy, huh? Can I just say, I told you so? 4. Now let's say your older brother comes in and challenges you to measure the area of a round pizza that's sitting on your dining room table before he would let you cut and eat it. The monster won't even give you the pie's radius. But you're a genius, and you won't let him stump you. So you take out a ruler and measure the widest part of the pizza clear across half. That is the diameter of the circle. Divide that in two and you've got the radius. Again, simple. 5. So if the pizza is 16 inches across, half of 16 is 8. Going by the formula again, you can be direct and use a calculator to multiply A equals 3.14 times 8 times 8. On the other hand, you can be sneaky and use the calculator function on your phone while pretending to text your buddy, and then you give him the answer. 200.96. While he's still figuring it out, go ahead and cut the pizza, reserving the largest slice for yourself. All that brain work deserves to be fed and sustained. Don't even bother to ask why you need to solve problems that won't be useful to you when you become a billionaire. You never know what life will throw at you. You could be in some reality show and the only way to advance to the next level or get past an obstacle is knowing how to calculate the area of a circle. You'd be a winner for sure. Otherwise, well, you could rest on the honor of impressing your sibling to infinity and beyond. Or at least until the next math assignment comes along.